Riders, welcome back to Sam's Bikes and I hope everyone's doing well out there. This is a very quick video on the new features of the new firmware of the Mastermind TCU from Specialized and how to update it. So let's get into it. And first off, we have system locking. And this is an absolute game changer for me. You know, a lot of us go and have a sneaky beer after our ride. So you're at the pub, you lock your bike so that opportunist criminal can't just run off with your bike. And riders, don't forget your pin, because if you do, you're gonna to have to go to a specialized service center to unlock it. And number two, Microtune has a new color. It's now orange, so you have Eco, Trail, Turbo, and now Microtune, they all have their colors. So at a glance, you can see what mode you're in. Number three, and I absolutely love this one, you can now see your battery levels in your mastermind from your ASX derailleur, which for me is a game changer because I have actually run out of batteries with my derailleur a couple of times out on the trails. And now I actually carry a spare battery. And when I charge my e-bike, I normally charge all the batteries. So this is really handy for me. It's not available yet for the dropper, but I would imagine that will be coming soon. Number four, you can now see in the mastermind what gear you're in if you have an ASX derailleur. And this might seem a little bit basic, but I've been teaching Bayer how to ride. And I think for a beginner, this is really handy to know what gear they're in. And lucky last number five, you can now see AM and PM times in your Mastermind TCU. This I believe is more for the Americans out there. I mean, in Europe, we kind of read it 24 hours, but you know, I understand it. This is a hugely advanced system and they're just bettering it each time. So there you go, riders. They're the five new updates for the Mastermind TCU. Don't be lazy. You've spent your hard earned money on this beautiful bike. Update it, get the most out of it. Also, don't forget to register your bike while you're at it through Mission Control. So then you'll be notified when there are any updates coming. Now let's go ahead and update the Mastermind TCU. First off, you're gonna to have to check Mission Control on your phone is updated. That's the first thing you wanna do. The second step, turn your bike on and then connect to Mission Control. And also riders, if you have two bikes like I do, make sure you've connected to the right bike. So now I've connected to the Levo Gen 3. I'm pairing through Bluetooth. Okay, now it says register your bike. So I'm gonna go on here and my bike is registered. It's that simple. Make sure you do that part. So now your bike is connected and you've registered it. You wanna go back to the home screen and you'll see all the information of your bike. Then we wanna go into device updates and you will see battery, motor and display. And it's quite simple. You just press update my bike. So we go continue and then you wait Okay, we're almost done at 88%, but riders be present in this because it is only 10 minutes. You just wanna make sure that it all does work well because you are updating the system. So now your Mastermind TCU is updated. It took around 10 minutes. And the last thing we wanna do, if you have ASX changes, you need to connect them and pair them. So what you need to do is you need to hold down the plus and minus buttons for two seconds, which will then get us into the system. Then you wanna go down three to sensor, press F1, and then you wanna to go to pair ant, press F1 again, and then you wanna go down three to shifting, press F1 again. And the trick that I didn't do and I had to research, you have to put the ASX into pairing mode. So you press shifting, F1, it will go into searching pairing, and then you press the button down here for two or three seconds, until you see it to go green. And now it's searching, searching, pair complete and rise. That did take me a little while to work out, but it's super easy. It is really simple to update the software, but if you are having some trouble, it could be that you haven't updated to the last firmware, so the older firmware. And if that is the case, you will need to go to a specialized dealer so they can update you to the old one and then jump you to the new one again. If you have a Kinevo SL or a Levo SL and you're having trouble updating the battery or anything else, head over to your local specialized dealer and they will help you out. 
And writers, that's it for me today. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments. And you know, if you haven't subscribed to Sam's Bikes, please do share it with like-minded people. And you know, hit the like button. It really does help out those algorithms. And you know it, stay safe out there and we'll see you next week.